We actually have some breaking news we're following right now from Waterford. That's where a group of people came from New York to try and get vaccinated. They were denied, but initially refused to leave the CVS, and the police were even called to the location. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Mike Savino is at the scene right now in Waterford with more details. Uh, Mike, what exactly happened here? Well, Mark, we're still trying to figure out all the details exactly what happened, but police tell me 10 people came from Long Island between the age of 70 and 80 uh, to the CVS behind me to get the vaccine. As you mentioned, they were denied, and but they refused to leave the premise, so police had to be called. I can tell you that the scene is already cleared. Uh, police leaving uh, shortly before 3 o'clock, uh, so the situation has um, cleared up here at CVS. Well, there's been so much talk lately, Mike. I know you've been covering this for a long time about a shortage of vaccines here in Connecticut, but New York is dealing with the same thing to hear people in their 70s and 80s came here to get vaccinated. Of course, we do not know the circumstances right now. When we learn more, we'll pass it along. But how did it ultimately get resolved here? Did they were they arrested? Well, we're still waiting for an answer from DPH and uh, CVS. We've reached out to both of them. Uh, but initially, again, they were told they were not going to get that, which is why they uh, were refusing to leave. I, we do know right now that police did not issue any arrests. Uh, they said that they were just here more for a peacekeeping role while uh, th there was a conversation going on. And DPH was here to assess uh, what exactly happened. Uh, as soon as we hear from DPH or CVS about uh, the resolution, we'll certainly uh, give you an update. Okay, Mike Savino, thank you very much for that breaking update right now.